Hello there, my YouTube friends. I am Tracy of Tracy's Fancy, and I am here today to share with you a few techniques that I did here on this little armoire here behind me. I used the new artisan paint from Dixie Bell called Terra Clay Paint. Um, it was a lot of fun to work with. It was my first time to work with it. And I'm gonna share with you today a few processes. I did some high-speed videos of me doing this water wash technique that I've used on several pieces in the past and even on walls, but I wanted to try it with this new clay paint and it works really, really well. It's even much easier than with the chalk mineral paint. So that's a technique that I will be continuing to do. I like it, it's got like a really good organic um, look to it and I used it as a backdrop for another Marie Antoinette let them make cake piece um, so I also go over some detail painting with how I um, did her hair her bow a little bit of the cake um, the flower some details there and then you can see that wash that's going on in the back that sort of a citron color that's going on there that actually is a very much lime green color that I've watered down to almost a watercolor and I show you how to give that haze behind your uh, your artwork so that if you've done any type of featured artwork, it allows it to sort of pop up off of the piece of furniture or canvas that you're working on. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you are new to Tracy's Fancy, if you will please hit that subscribe button and like and follow. We are here every single Sunday with a new YouTube video. Uh, Y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you. All right, so before we get started, I need to tell you two things. One is that I am recovering from a cold, so I don't sound like myself. If I had someone else that could do this voiceover for me, I would ask them to, but you get me and this strange, uh, creepy sounding woman. Um, secondly, this little armoire has created quite the negative buzz on both my Instagram, my Facebook Reels, and my TikTok. Um, I've gotten more negative feedback on painting this little armoire. It's shocking. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm happy that I painted it, but people don't like that I painted it and they don't like the look of my finished product. But I'm going to tell you how I did it anyway because I love it. And I also love these little armoires. I've got the door open so that you can see that there is a closet rod on the inside. And then there's also three little shelves off to the left there. I think these are perfect for little girls' playrooms. You see there was also a rod on the inside of the door. Um, they're perfect for playrooms, dress-up closets. You can just imagine like the little shoes and the little dress-up purses and hanging necklaces and, and then the hanging dress-up dresses in the middle. I think it's perfect. Do you see the furniture dollies there on the left that are allowing me just to sort of bump that thing over? Those things are amazing. If you're a furniture painter and you don't have any of these, I suggest you get yourself some. Even though this tiny little piece only weighs about maybe 10 pounds. All right, so let me explain to you what I did. I am using the brand new Terra paint line. It is the clay paint by Dixie Bell Paint. It's brand new, it's not even on the market as of today that I'm doing this voiceover. Maybe by the time you're listening to it, it will be, should be offered mid-July of 2022. Dixie Bell is known for their chalk mineral paint. They also have a paint called the Silk Line, which is an all-in-one paint, but this is their clay-based paint. So I just used Onyx in black and I did one sloppy coat of Onyx all over and let it dry. It dries super fast, just like clay or mud in the outdoor in the sun. It bakes and dries really fast. So I'm now going over it with Moon Dance, which is the white in that clay line and you can see that i'm not paying attention to what direction i'm moving i'm using a flat medium synthetic brush here it doesn't matter if you put it on with your hands your fingers a sponge brush a brush a cloth it's thick like pudding and you can apply it however you want to i'm going to add a, a lot of water to this finish because i am going for what i call a water washed finish which is actually the finish and the look that people aren't liking online um, not my followers. My followers seem to really like it, but there are what we call trolls in the online space and they are having a heyday with this look. They're like, you ruined it. It's trash, but I'm telling you, it's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a water washed natural stone look finish to serve as a backdrop for Marie Antoinette and a fun whimsical finish that you're going to watch me paint here in just a minute. So let me tell you exactly how I get this water wash look. I just paint a base coat and then I paint another coat on top that's a 
not a con it doesn't have to be a contrasting color like these two are um, but you need to have them be enough different that you can actually see the process when you start to add all the water so I first was using that mister bottle that you can see on top of the Almar there but um, that wasn't giving me enough water action this paints really thick and I felt like it needed more umph so I pulled out my Jack Daniels spray bottle which delivers a direct line of water and I just am spraying you can start to see that I will get a lot of dripping action now I'm not really going for full-blown drips um, you can see that I covered it all in white and then I just start spraying and I sort of step back what I like here is that I'm getting a gray so where the black that's activating the black paint underneath as well the white paint is being activated and I'm ending up with a lot of gray in the finish and I really like that so now I'm moving over to do the same thing on the side I spray the piece down with a lot of water I just slop on some white paint I spray it here with the water bottle move down to the next level slop on some more white paint I just repeat this until I've got the entire piece covered with white and then I will spray some more and just step back and watch the water do its thing. Even while I'm over here on the side working, um, the front is still wet and the water is still soaking into that clay and separating it. And there's action taking place on the front as well. It's sort of like a science experiment and I love it. And you can do this with the chalk mineral paint line as well, but it's a lot more fun and you get a lot more action from the water with the clay paint. All right, so once it's dry, it's time to draw my image. You can see in my left hand there, I've got a phone and I'm using a photo that I found online for reference, um, and I'm just freehanding it. If you aren't good at drawing, you can actually project your image onto the uh, piece and just trace the projected image. But I just did a simple outline with white chalk, and when I got it exactly the way I wanted it, I used, you can see, black charcoal there. I'm using a black charcoal stick to solidify that look. And then what I didn't show you is now I'm painting the face, but what I didn't show you is I actually sprayed the black charcoal with a fixative spray. It's called fixative spray um, so that that black charcoal does not move when I start adding paint. All right, so now I've got an entire tray here full of all of the colors, not all of the colors, but a lot of the colors from the chalk um, I'm sorry, from the clay paint line, and I'm just mixing them to, to get my own colors. I did the pink hair there in a color called Bougainvillea, which is a very, very bold, dark pink, and I'll show you a little bit more about blending those colors in a little bit, but I mixed it with some of the Moon Dance, and I got that soft pink. All of the colors that you see me using here, the teals, the lavenders, the uh, rose color, the aqua, the, none of those are straight color. Those are all mixes of a bunch of different colors that you saw me mixing in my tray. When you finish painting, it's so important to just keep adding layers, add details. You saw a second ago that I added some damask print to her dress. Now I'm coming in and adding leaves to a rose that I put on top of the cake. I'm even gonna come in with a tiny brush here and add baby's breath with a tiny point brush. I'm gonna add baby's breath all over around the rose. You just wanna keep adding and adding and adding. You can see that I divided up the cake layers there with tiny stripes and I went back and added white swirls to my icing. And that's one of the beauties about the clay paint is that I actually used a, um, a brush to make swirls and you can feel it. It feels like icing. If you could touch it, you could feel and see the raised what is icing there. Now I'm coming in and adding um, little jewels that are hanging from this cake plate with different colors from the clay line. That right there is Lonnie's Lagoon. Isn't that pretty? It's a gorgeous aqua color. And I'm gonna come in and add that color right there is straight Bougainvillea. That's the, the brightest pink that's in that clay line. It's so pretty. Um, and the purple above that that you can see there on the cake plate was elderberry. Okay, great, let's do some paint mixing now. Paint mixing, that is Bougainvillea right there. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of Moon Dance. You can see me go from a bright, bright, bold berry pink to a soft pink. So that's the color that I used in Marie Antoinette's hair. But then I wanted to make a bow for Marie Antoinette's hair and I wanted a lavender bow, but I don't have lavender here. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make lavender. Do you see that aqua in the bottom left-hand corner right next to the yellow? That aqua is Lonnie's Lagoon. I added a little bit of Lonnie's Lagoon to my pale pink that I had made, and I got this beautiful lavender. 
So now I'm gonna use that lavender to paint the bow that I drew on Marie Antoinette's hair. So there you can see all the different variations of pink that I came up with for the hair. And now I'm filling it in with that lavender that I made again with Bougainvillea, Moon Dance, and a little bit of Lonnie's Lagoon make this gorgeous, dusty lavender color. What do you wanna call it? A violet maybe, a dusty violet. Usually I outline my artwork when I draw on furniture, when I paint on furniture, I go ahead and do a bold outline. It gives it more of a whimsical feel. I know it's not very realistic to have a lavender bow that's outlined in black. It's more like a coloring book, but that's my style of art. I like it. It's more of a pop art style and it really helps to lift the image up off of the surface. And I, I'm not trying to make it look like a woman like a real woman with a bow in her hair. It's whimsical, it's fun, it's kind of a kind of silly, right? Silly art. Using a pencil eraser and Lonnie's Lagoon to make my polka dots on the bow. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. So this is bringing Marie Antoinette up off of the front of that armoire. So we've got the gorgeous backdrop. I think it's gorgeous. The black and white water wash. She is completely finished, but I want her to come up off of that surface. So I'm doing a paint wash with pistachio. So that was a pistachio green, a very bold green. I've barely used, I did not redip my brush one time. I have pistachio on my brush and I'm using a spray water bottle to keep spraying my brush and adding more water to it so that I get this great shadowed effect there all around Marie Antoinette. I love it. I think it is so cool. All right, so I want to add Let Them Eat Cake. This is my second piece to write Let Them Eat Cake on. I don't know why I like this line so much, but I do. Um, I think I say it to my kids a lot. <laughs> Let them eat cake. So I just do this freehand. There's nothing written out there. You can write it out with chalk if you'd like to. Um, you can use a ruler if you want to. I don't. I like it to be more uh, graffiti, um, just a very natural, like someone just walked up and just wrote it. Um, so I'm using a one inch, maybe a one inch artist brush here. I'm sort of just dipping in whatever I've got on my paint tray right now. You see me just blotting all around in that paint tray and I'm just writing out my letters in a very block style movement here. I'm gonna do all of the words first and then I'm gonna go back and just start adding more color to my words as I want. But I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the words down, let them eat and cake, and then stand back and sort of reevaluate where I wanna add more color. I'm sure you can tell as you're watching that the let is very hard to see. So I already know that the first thing I'm gonna do is step back, dip in some more color, and add more color to the word let. But I don't want all of the words matchy matchy, but I do want you to notice that I'm drawing from the same palette that I did the entire piece to use on my letters. I want the words to sort of bring all the colors together in one place. This was a little too aqua for me, so I'm bringing in a little bit more of that violet into it. And I am done, looky there. Someone called her Jay Leno. They called my Marie Antoinette Jay Leno, and I am okay with that. I don't care. Do you see the damask there in the dress and the drippy look that I had? That was a stencil, the Royal Damask Stencil by Dixie Belle. Let them eat cake, the drippy look, the textured cake. I wish you could touch it and see it for yourself in person. It is so, so textured. This piece has so much going on. Um, your eye is just all over the place trying to take it in. You've got the natural look on the sides, the very authentic aged look. Um, I just see this in someone's boutique or in a little girl's playroom, a little girl's bedroom. It makes me really happy to look at it. Um, I, I'm just so happy with it. I think it's hilarious that it's brought a, a lot of negative attention in the online space. I've honestly never had that happen and I don't care. I just hope you love it as much as I do. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back next Sunday with something else to inspire you.